I'm so sorry if you weren't able to see what happened in our um, group mentoring so far. It's been 12 minutes in. So sorry. Um, I'm recording now, and right now we're talking about the success check-in. So yeah, I highly, <laughs> you guys, I highly rec. Can you guys remind me? I I highly recommend making sure that you're printing out the success check-ins and doing that every week. The mindset of what is working, what do I have, and how do I take advantage of that? Okay, especially in these times. So we're stuck in our homes. Um, what can we do at this time? It's utilizing online. It's being an example. It's being in that mindset of what is working in my business and let's run with that. What's not working, let's let it go, okay? There's a couple of things in what's not working that you might write down that you can be better at and you can work through and grow from, but let's go with what's working. So what's working is people are on their, um, on their phones a lot. People are looking at social media. Um, and for me, especially, I'm not trying to watch the news because it's a little bit overwhelming. But what I do look for is personal stories of people that are dealing with um, Corona in their area, like this one girl that was posting about Italy and how bad it was there. And I love that seeing from personal experiences. And I think if like I'm drawn to that, other people are also drawn to that too. What are personal experience of people? And as people are swiping through or, or going through their IG, what people are looking for is connection, is looking for examples, is looking for inspiration. So when you're at home, you're being that example. This is what we're doing today indoors. Post things like that. This is what we're doing to, to be healthy. Post things like that. When you're having conversations with your customers and people, make sure that the energy there, what is your energy? Is it panicky? Is it desperate? Is it rushing? Like, what is your energy there when you're talking with people, when you're inviting people, when you're following up to enroll with people? Or is it coming from a place of, hey, we're in this time right now, like, we're all stuck in our homes. And I think, like, it would be great to just utilize the time that we have. Like, this, these are my organizing tips. These are the tips that I'm doing of what I'm doing with my kids. I put them on a schedule so that they don't just eat all day. And we're doing coloring at this hour. Then we're going to go walk outside at this hour and nap times at this time. And, you know, I'm making sure my kids are taking their vitamins. Um, tips on, you know, and if, if you don't have oils, like I think preparing for, for the future is what we can start to do or what we should be doing. And so I recommend getting all these products. These are the, these are the products that I have in my home. You know that, um, you know when people are like, the gang's all here. I think I saw someone like take a picture of, of a, a group of products and be like, gang's all here. Do that with your oils, you guys, because people are going to be like, what? I don't have that. I need to get that. Or I do have it. Cool. I'm ready. I'm set. You know, all the... Your flume, especially, flume rollers, rollers, oils, frankincense, oregano, on guard, mel lemon, melaleuca. Gang's all here. I don't know, whatever, however you speak, make sure that that's authentic and that's coming out, okay? Um, I think that for those on lockdown, what could the messages that you could put out. I'm, I'm futuristic, so I'm trying to see into the future. Something that I am seeing is when you're on lockdown and people aren't um, making money, I don't want you guys to worry about this, but I want you guys to be prepared and I want to have this conversation. When people aren't working or they're not making as much income, can they afford their oils? Can they? Do you guys think so? Can you afford your oils if you're not working? I want to see what you guys say before I share. Um, anybody? Or you can unmute yourselves and talk. If your income got cut today, would you still buy your oils and why? I'm surprised Kareen isn't the first person to unmute herself. <laughs> I was literally just about to press unmute. I <laughs> You're killing I me. <laughs> Kareen, if your income got, 
if you if you like knew that you're you couldn't you weren't gonna get paid next week would you still buy your oils next month yes because I would make it a priority because I know that um during this time my health is really important so even if I'm like oh no like I don't know how I'm going to pay for it. So I would like kind of just think about it like, okay, so what do I need the most? Like maybe I'm not going to make my full order at one time or buy like, you know, things that I don't really need yet. I would just buy like my necessities and just kind of like talk with my husband about it or like talk with my mom about it because, you know, she uses oils too. So it would just kind of be like a shifting of what I really need right now versus making a whole entire order at one time. Yeah. Totally. Anybody else want to share? If you're, if you're, if you have a day job, daytime job, and you get paid hourly, and then they closed for two weeks, and you know that you're not going to get income. Luckily, I think lockdowns is like a couple weeks, three weeks at the most. Would you still buy your oils? You as an oily person. And why? I'll let you guys chat too. I don't want to scare you into speaking. <laughs> um, well, thanks for sharing, Kareen. And um, yeah, you guys creating value around, you know, things are shut down. Um, we don't know when our next in paycheck or our next paycheck won't, we won't be able to return to work for three weeks. Would I still buy my oils? Yes. Um, having the things that we need in our home. And like Kareen said, our health is the most important right now. So at the least, what I would be buying is my vitamins, my lifelong vitality pack, right? My lifelong vitality pack, um, all the home goods. And we're not talking end of the world. We're talking can't work for two weeks, right? Okay. So futuristic strength coming in, I'm going to say, start creating value around, you know, what would you buy in your monthly order and why? What would you, what are you using and what is like non-negotiable in what you need in your home? And I think it's also just inspiring people to, okay, so essential oils, what we teach is, um, we're doing a preventative approach instead of an ambulance approach. And I think right now, one of the biggest things that we can do as wellness advocates is show how important our bodies are and our health is. And not just like stocking up on food, but stocking up on healthy food and taking our Terra Greens every day, taking our lifelong vitality pack every day because that's what's going to keep our immune system strong and our bodies healthy, right? Self-care and quarantine. We're doing facials. We're doing vitamins. We're doing meditation. We're doing yoga. Like, it's all coming back to us. And then creating relationships with the ones that we're stuck with in our home even deeper, right? So um, I think creating the value and the education around that is going to be important in our businesses. Something that I am really thankful for you guys um, that I know not all of you are at this point yet, but doTERRA is my main source of income. It's my number one. It, it's like my income. Um, the only way for me to make extra income is if I sell more rollers on GoDrop, right? So doTERRA is my number one income. And I have been so lucky. The amount of work that I've put in for the past three and a half years the residual income is there. Um, we are lucky to be in doTERRA. So doTERRA, when shit hits the fan, sorry if I said the wrong word. Um, is that a swear word these days? I don't think so. So if shit hits the fan, people are scrambling to get hand sanitizer and vitamins, and now they're going to vitamins and food and toilet paper and oils. And if we were in another market or if we had a different type of business, I don't know if it would completely survive, right? I mean, it would make income right now, right? People see the need for health and oils right now. And again, we need to capitalize on that and really help them get oils into the home and educate on how to take care of themselves. But the residual income is huge. 
the amount of orders that came in this month is huge. And um, we're about only 2,000 away from Diamond. And it's the 17th of the month. And I wanted to share that with you guys because this business and this residual income is huge. Um, and it's, it hasn't happened very often to where we're this close to diamonds by the 17th of the month. Yeah. And so when it comes down to like emergency, people need their oils, people need their natural products. And it's funny because a lot, of, not everyone is into the natural stuff. And then shit hits the fan and everyone's like, I need the oils, I need the on guard, I need the, and they're contacting you left and right. So are you that person that people are turning to because they know that you are a doTERRA wellness advocate, you're going to help them get oils, you're going to educate them, and you're the oil lady. If you're not, you guys need to do a shift. If people aren't looking at you like you're the person to get oils from, you, you need to shift and you need to announce that. Not like, hey, I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate, but I just mean, Stand in that ownership of like letting people know, educating more, reaching out to people in a way. If you're not building on social media, that's okay. But share a little bit more on social media. And then when you're having the conversations in the text, reach out to people and say, I have a doTERRA business if you haven't yet. If you haven't told people this, I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate. I wanted to reach out to all my people because I care about you so much. I want to help you get oils into your home if you're interested in that. What do you think? question mark and with a question that's the only way that's the only higher percentage chance way that you're going to get a response and please break up your messages please don't say hey shit's hitting the fan in this world i'm a doTERRA wellness advocate i want to help you get oils into your home i have two classes on on friday you want to come i have six o'clock or eight o'clock which one can you make please don't do that you guys please break up your messages Hey, I wanted to reach out to you. I know that this time is crazy. It's current current events are happening, and um, I, I I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate, and it's my duty to help people get oils into their home. I know that you've probably seen On Guard get blasted on social media as one of the biggest immune boosting defenses. I know that you've probably noticed that your health is probably one of the most important things right now. As a doTERRA wellness advocate, I wanted to reach out to you because I want to see if you would want to learn about essential oils with me and if I can help you get oils into your home. Wait for a response. If they say, yes, oh my gosh, you reached me at the perfect time. I also wanted to reach out to you, but I was a little scared. I'm so glad you reached out to me. Then you're going to respond, perfect. I want to help you so much. I'm so excited that you're, that you're right there along with me. I have two classes coming up. They're online. We're doing social distancing and it's a group class. It's going to be so much fun. I would love to see your face on there. I have Friday at 6 p.m. or 8 p.m. available. Which one can you make? Question mark. If they cannot make that, let's schedule a one-on-one -on -one phone call. I have Friday at noon or Friday or Saturday at 9 a.m. available. Which one? Do any of those work out for you? If they don't, shoot me back with days and times that do. I say that in my membership overview messages. If these two don't work out, shoot me a message back saying what days and times do work out for you. Okay? Clear messages broken up and with a question to make sure that you're getting a response back. If someone doesn't respond, just shoot them an extra message. Hey, I know you're so busy. I just wanted to make sure you saw this message. Let me know what you think. It's okay to reach out to people who didn't respond in a couple of days. Only because I learned by experience. I had someone reach out to me and like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I read it and then my kids kind of like took my attention away and I didn't respond. And then that person just messaged me a couple days later. Like, hey, I just wanted to follow up on the message I sent you. And I was like, oh, oh, sorry, blah, 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 and then I responded. You know, so don't feel like you guys are ever putting people out or bothering people. Your purpose is greater. And this is all going to come along with mindset. Where is your mindset at? 
you have a purpose, your purpose is great, you have an amazing product, you want to help people, and you have to keep that super strong as you change and adapt your business to current events and keep going. Okay, let me see your chats. I'd still buy my oils because I'm protecting myself and my family. Like one step further, if shit really hits the fan, let me just share with you. I just saw that Kapilani Hospital had someone who tested positive for coronavirus. That's my hospital. That's the hospital I go to. Do you think that I want to go to the hospital now? And if we had a cold or flu, I'm going to go to the hospital or am I going to do everything that it takes to use my oils in my home before I even need to go there? Right? So one step further of shit hitting the fan, it's like you're going to want all the tools to heal your family in your home in quarantine. And that's what you're going to share with people. Um, Giselle said, I would have had money, but I witnessed someone spend $1,600 on groceries. Yeah, people see the need. They will need it. Yeah. Um, Jen, I would still buy my oils because they're needs and not wants. Yeah, they're needs and not wants to take care of my family. Okay, you guys. So you see how your mindset with essential oils, you see it as essential. And you see oils as your need, not your want. And so our, what we need to do is help other people see that too. Not everyone is in the same belief as we are, okay? And so also give them grace. If they're not there yet, that's okay. If they're not there yet, that's okay. Keep loving on people. Keep putting this out there. Oils are needs, not wants. Why do we, why do you need it? Why do we need oils? And share that. Um, Britt said, ever since news broke out, people are pushing their LRP orders to the 24. Is that what you mean? LRP orders? Yeah. Okay. They're pushing it to the 24. It's better than nothing. <laughs> At least they're doing LRP. Um, I experienced the opposite. I experienced the opposite. I had everyone placing their orders because the um, I was selling out. And then I shared with you guys. Sorry. Hold on. Can you guys, like, somebody talk for... Nobody wanted to talk. Sorry. I just had to blow my nose. I actually have a cold. I have a little cold. It's just like a scratchy throat and some um, runny nose. That sucks. Oh, you guys. What were we talking about? Um, yeah, LRP orders. So what you can do is you notice that your customers were pushing their LRP order back. I think the only thing that you can do is keep educating them onto what oils they can use in their home right now how important their health is, what products they can use for that, and make sure you get that education to them. So whether that be an individual text or that be posting on your stories or making an Instagram post, get that word out there. Um, our individual text messages to your customers, they don't always have to be, hey, how are you doing with your oils? Or, hey, just wanted to let you know there's a promotion coming up. It can always be, hey, I just wanted to share this with you blah, 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 or I wanted to share this link with you. I wanted to share some tips on how you can use essential oils and what products that, you know, you probably want to get um, to support your house in, in this time, your home in this time, and your health in this time. I just wanted to share that with you. Okay? And it's not going to be you being like, oh, why'd you push your order back? It's you being like, with what's going on, I just want to share this with you. These are the oils and products that I'm using and why. Or health is our most important thing. And so I wanted to make sure you knew that these doTERRA products were available to you. And I hope that you stay so, um, I hope that you stay really healthy and safe. Okay. Um, yeah, priority. 
priority in money. Okay, so you guys are pretty much on the same track. Yeah, we need oils in Y, and so now it's helping other people see that they need oils in Y. Kareen said, I think of it as the more I prioritize my health, the less I have to worry about having to go to the hospital or be faced with unexpected medical bills that I would still have to scramble money for. Also, my futuristic strength speaking. Yeah. Okay. So that right there, what she said, she's prioritizing her health. So the less you have to worry about going to the hospital and face unexpected medical bills, because that still costs money and that might cost more money. So you share that turn around and share that with people. It's all about education and being relatable. And then I still want to go with be the example. Show people how, how we are thriving in this unfortunate situation. It's unfortunate, but what are we going to do? Like how about it and send our home and panic? No, we're going to turn it around and be like, these are the DIY projects I'm doing. These are the books I'm reading. These are the podcasts I'm doing. For doTERRA, what I'm doing in my business is that I'm going to shift to online and I'm going to show up even more for you guys. I'm going to bring so much education. Meet me here every day at 9 a.m. on Instagram Live. Oh, gosh, I'm not doing that. But that's because I have three children. So <laughs> I totally would. If you guys can, please do that. I would love to do that. I, t I was tempted to be like, come meet me at Instagram Live every day at 9 a.m. Let's be real, I have three children at home. So that's not possible for me right now. <laughs> okay. Um, Alyssa Liloa, what are some sa ideal samples to send out right now? On guard? On guard samples? Peppermint Wild Orange? Energy? Um, adaptive, anxiety, serenity, balance, stress. I think same as always, really. I'm sending out the same samples because our needs are still the same. Do you guys notice that? Our needs are still the same. If you ask someone two weeks ago, what, what kind of, what are you looking for? They're going to be like, oh, stress relief and energy, immune boost. And then you ask someone today in the current events. Oh, what do you, what kind of oils are you, are you looking for? Oh, stress relief for sure. And energy because I'm stuck at home all day and immune support, right? It's just, it's going to be the same. Um, medical bills are no joke. Kalia was in the hospital for two days about three weeks ago for pneumonia and dehydration. The bill was somewhere between six to $800. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Alyssa. That's crazy. By the way, Alyssa has three children, like I do, but like she's way more bomb than I am. And one of her children has Down syndrome and just like, and she's a single mom, divorced. Like, Alyssa, you are freaking amazing. I don't know how you do it. And then she did the strength training with us last week. You're amazing. Um, okay. Anybody have any questions or any topics that you guys want to discuss? Yes, Shauna. <laughs> I'll unmute myself. I didn't want to bring it up, and I kept going back and forth. I was going to message you privately, but we're here, and we all can learn. But I had a class. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, she had a class. No, this is good. I would love if you guys can all share some experiences in your business and advice in your business. So I had a class called Be Ready, Be Proactive, and it was like, um, you know, having to do with what's going on, and I wanted to, yeah, talk about boosting your immune, yada, yada, um, DIY stuff, um, but in the beginning of my class, like, I had posted, like, some research that um, I found, but then also was saw that um, at Monday at Isla Love's meeting, they were talking about it, and they had posted it, so I thought it was okay, and then I didn't say the name of, you know, I didn't say coronavirus, but I said the virus we're dealing with, you know, is a respiratory, blah, blah, blah. And I showed them respiratory oils I could support. And then I sent out the recording um, in an email so people could catch it. But then after, you know, seeing your email about, you know, compliance and all of that, like I took down the video or I 
<clears throat> made it private so nobody else could view it but I just was thinking like do I re-record it and say you know like I need to you know just be honest with it or just go MIA like just take it down <laughs> so that's kind of something I'm dealing with right now what um Wait, what do you feel like it was not compliant about it? Well, um, cause in the email you sent about like Emily Wright saying like, don't post um, any like um, research that you found about diseases, illnesses, or like having to do with essential oils. And the one I saw was like medical news today. You know, a lot of like wellness advocates are posting it on Instagram. So I thought it was okay. I thought, oh great, you know, influenza, here's the top five oils. So I had it on there. I talked about that. And then another one was shared at Isla Love's meeting by the like another wellness advocate from I don't know some medical site so I thought oh, okay it's okay and it talked about essential oils for antiviral so I mean I don't know like if exactly what I said I didn't you know is okay but it, yeah just reading off the email thinking, I know oh, I'm so sorry you guys I was even posting like what what articles of like what researchers are testing right and what oils that they're suggesting because we feel like what if if it comes from a doctor maybe people will will believe it more right or like some kind of newspaper and um no i i don't think that i've never heard from corporate that we can't repost things like that until right now so it might just be until this passes i don't know if it's like forever never ever post things like that or repost things but uh, i don't know and i feel like your video as long as you're sending it to your people and you're not i think it's the more so like posting it on social media so we i i did the same that's why when i sent that to you guys in the email i was like we all make mistakes i made some mistakes and so all we have to do is to keep moving forward in this in this stricter i wouldn't say in a new compliant way but i think in a stricter compliant way and um but i don't want you to be scared to share it's it's more so like Emily, obviously, she's like, I want to protect your businesses and I don't want the FDA coming after us for saying things about essential oils. And even like how she's, didn't she say like, we can't say this is um, antiviral, but we can say it fights germs and fights viruses, something like that. And I'm like, I'm saying antiviral and everything. But I think if we, I think if we say it in a way like oregano has antiviral properties, then I think that's okay. Let's just stick with, just don't, um, hashtag COVID-19, hashtag coronavirus, hashtag essential oils in the same post. That's all. <laughs> um, and when you say like, you don't know how to work or you're like, you're trying to work through that. Are you, are you more so like you're kind of closed off because you're like scared or are you more so just like, should I redo it or should I just. Yeah, I guess like business purposes like you know if it I mean it is only to my people and my customers but then I don't want them to repeat anything or you know like maybe they would talk about it and yeah and then it comes back to me um you know not being compliant but yeah I mean it yeah no I I think that one's okay I think it's okay I mean it's a it's a video yeah but I'm private and it's just your people uh yeah I yeah Shana, i think it's i think it's okay too like you're you were only having it for like your current enrollment it wasn't like you were trying to like fully advertise it to like 30 people that haven't signed up with oils yet and you were just trying to like you know quote unquote bait them i think is what they're more worried about so you're doing great <laughs> i don't think you should worry about that yeah yeah thanks for Thanks for adding in, Kareen. I appreciate it so much. I like when you guys talk. It doesn't have to be on me. But um, yeah, I think the main thing was like not capitalizing on what's happening in a, in a way where it's like, oh, great, I can make all these sales. Um, but we're not like that. We're not those types of people. And not a lot of people in doTERRA are like that, where their heart is like, I want to help people. Not like, oh, my God, everyone needs to buy oils. And so this is my chance to like make it big. You know, like. I, and so I think as long as our hearts are always in the right place, then, you know, I don't think we can do too much harm. And then we just have to be careful with like no hashtags and stuff, hashtagging it all together. I know it's so hard, but I'm glad Emily did put that out there for us because she's like, I want to protect your businesses and I want to make sure doTERRA keeps thriving and, and all that good stuff. Um, anybody else have any blocks that they're dealing with this week? Um, 
what about mid-month? It's mid-month. A lot of you have hit your solid ranks or are just about to hit your solid rank. Is there anyone who is struggling or is ready to hit the next rank as we head into the second half of the month and want to talk about it? Well, something that I've been recently sharing with my, um, the girls that I mentor is um, getting people to classes and, and using the share guide system of getting the RSVP and what to say, what to say, effective inviting, lean into your empowered success resource. That's literally what I used what I used to, to be me today. Um, I have tweaked things over time as I've experienced more. So the more people that you reach out to, the more people you get to classes, the more classes that you do, the more experience that you guys are going to get and the more that you're going to be building your skills in your business. I don't think I'm perfect and I'm always, I can always grow. But if you guys view me as someone who like, oh, she teaches, she knows how to teach classes. She effectively enrolls. She effectively that's because I've done the, the things. I've failed. I've made mistakes. Um, and you just keep going and you keep growing and building your skills. Okay. One of the main resources I really want you guys to lean in on is empowered success. So if you do not have these guides printed, you can buy it in your doTERRA shop. And I literally open these guides. This is a live guide. I open it and I do membership welcome calls membership overviews lifestyle overview whatever you want to call it i do this with every new enrollment the share guide i do this and i look through it with every class that i host that i host or someone else hosts i give them this guide and it says share experiences invite to learn more this is a, these are scripts that they're giving you remind them to come it says call or text them 48 hours i'm excited to see you you're gonna love learning some great ways to take care of your family naturally. Feel free to bring a friend and I have a gift for you. It says that, it tells you exactly what to say. And this is what I say. Two hours before, feel free to park in the driveway or along the street. You're gonna love the essential oil infused refreshments. Here's an example for you for online. Um, I'm so, ex um, okay, classes. What I, so when I get an RCP, what I tell them for online is I'm going to, I'm going to RCP you. I'll confirm with you a couple days before, before the class. And in the meantime, you can download the, the zoom.us app. It's best on your computer, but it works on your phone as well. And I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to see you at class. Two days before. So some of you are coming to my online class on Thursday. Two days before, so today I texted all the builders, all my all my builders, and I said, "This is the this is when you're gonna send that reminder, and you're gonna say something like, I'm so excited for you to come to class on Thursday at eight. If you didn't download the Zoom.us app yet, please do test it. You're gonna love it. Otherwise, here's a link to join on. Two hours before that morning, I'm or that afternoon, I'm gonna text everyone and be like. Here's a quick link, easy access. I'm excited to see you. If people are coming to the park, this is now we're going back to like a park. I usually give them specific instructions. Like I'm, you're going to see me under the tree. I have a big blanket. I brought some scones to share and you can park here and here, you know? So just make sure that you're, you're connecting and just reminding and just telling them like, I'm excited to see you basically it, or I'm excited for you or whatever it is. And never, ever, whatever you guys do, do not say, hey, are you still coming to class on Sunday? Hey, are you, you know, I just wanted to check if you're going to come, um, if you're going to jump online in a couple hours with me. Whatever you do, do not ask that question because it gives them an out. And it even makes them question, right? Just keep confirming. Hey, I'll see you at class. I'll see you in a couple hours. I'm excited to see you. Here's a link to click on so you can join on really quickly. Okay. Um, otherwise, share anytime, anywhere and sampling success. 
is in the share guide. Everything you guys need is right here. The build guide is a business overview. I still to this day use that in business overviews as I want to bring on new builders. The launch guide has amazing scripts of how to effectively invite and how to effectively enroll. I literally sit here with my phone, with a guide open, and I'm thinking about, okay, what am I gonna say? What do I need to say it to? And I have my hundred list pulled up on my computer. So I have my hundred list on Excel, and I have that pulled up, then I have my phone, and then I have these guides in front of me. Okay? It's a good practice if you guys wanna do that. Um, let me read one of these, one of these scripts. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm like, I wouldn't say this. It says, seriously, essential oils are rocking my world. I can't keep this to myself. You got to check this out. Have you ever tried any? I would love to give you a little something to try for a health priority you want to target. Then we just check back with you in a couple of days to see how it's working. It is great. Just, just do it in the way that you would say it. Like, just sound authentic. Um, so sometimes you don't have to take these scripts literally. Just put in your own words, but make sure it still has that same effect, if you know what I mean. It has to have that same effect. Um, if you guys are first, like it's your first time reaching out to someone, I want to share with you what I say, because I've been helping a few of my builders work through this this week. Um, you want to be to the point. You don't want to be fishing around. Like someone was, someone messaged me once and she's like, hey, you know, I, I wanted to reach out to you. I think that you would love financial something, she said. No, she, actually, she, she didn't say that at all. She, she didn't even mention that part. She just said, hey, I think I, I have something that I think what you would really benefit from. Let's meet up. And I was like sitting in, I was like sitting there like, but what, what am I meeting up with her for? And why would I take, use my value time to meet her? And I was like, hey, like, what is this about? And she's like, oh, I'll just, I'll explain it when I see you. I'm like, first of all, I don't even know you. I never met her in my life. And, and she was telling me that. And I'm just, I straight up told her, you guys. I was like, I'm sorry, I have two kids. My time is super valuable. I need to know what you're like trying to talk to me about. And then she finally told me life insurance. Finally life insurance, New York life insurance. And I was like, oh, thank you, but I already have a person. And then she, and then she went on to tell me like, oh, but did they tell you that this and this and this? And I think that you should get it with me. And I was like, holy smokes, like, like smoke was going out of my ears. I was just, I don't know if I would say offended, but I would, I, I wish I told her and I didn't. What I should have told her is that is not how you get someone to meet you. You know, I was so thrown off and so like, I don't know, it was just weird. So please, please don't tell people like, I know Daily Mentor Calls has this sometimes, but try, uh, do it, do it in a way that you would actually say yes. Um, so try not to tell someone like, hey, I have something amazing to share with you. Let's meet up on Saturday. If that's not your bestie. Like if it's my best friend, I mean like, oh my gosh, Moni, I... Just, I have this like super amazing product and I like I've been using it for 30 days and I just love it and I really want to share it with you I'll see you on Saturday and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you about it because you're giving them a heads up you know but if you're reaching out to people I think the best thing that you can do is be straight up be clear and not be overwhelming straight up clear overwhelming don't do that don't be overwhelming what you can say is hey blank I wanted to reach out to you. I'm, I'm currently reaching out to um, other moms that I that I am inspired by and that I feel like we would connect really well. Um, I love following you on Instagram and I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate. I use essential oils. I've been using them for about three years. I use them on my kids for um, allergies, cold, flu, and on myself for stress and sleep. And as a mom, like I think we can get all the help that we can get. I wanted to reach out to you and see if that's something that you'd be interested in learning about with me. Question mark. And wait for the response. When they respond and they say like, oh, you know what? Yeah, like I'm open to essential oils. Then ask them, well, I'd love to get you, you know what, what I normally do is I get, I hold essential oil classes and I'd love to get you to one. If that's not, 
what you're if you're if you're not really into that I can do one on one with you what would you prefer question mark let them respond and they say oh like yeah, yeah I'd love to meet you for a coffee date perfect and then you go to I have Friday at noon Saturday at nine can you make one of those does that match your schedule if not shoot back some days and times that work for you wait for their response okay does that sound like you guys would say yes <laughs> like you guys would respond and does that sound friendly um i want to give you an example for those of you who aren't moms or can't use that mom like little thing um you can say something like hey blank hey so and so hey shauna you know i i i've been using essential oils for a few years now or i've been using essential oils for the past year um for stress and relaxation and just overall health um i work a nine to five job and i noticed that you do too and i figured why not reach out to you and see if this is something that maybe you could benefit from as well would you be interested in in hearing about essential oils question mark if you guys can make it even more relatable than i can perfect but i really think it's important to straight up hey blank I've been using essential oils or, you know, I'm reaching out to other women who have careers and like are boss women, just like you. And I look up to you so much and I wanted to see if I have essential oils and I wanted to see if this could be something that you could benefit from because I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate and I want to help people like you. Are you interested in essential oils? Question mark. So just make it super relatable and like, a message that you would like if you're on the other end. You guys feel better about that? Okay, anybody have any questions or wanna talk about anything? Just promise me you guys won't beat around the bush and be like, I have something so exciting to share with you. Let's jump on a phone call. I don't think it's the worst, but it's just like, you guys know, like we're so busy and for someone, for that girl to tell me that, and I had three kids, I was like, I, I just can't believe she didn't think my time was valuable. Like, just tell me straight up, like, hey, I sell New York life insurance. You're a mom. Like, do you have life insurance set up? Are you interested in hearing about something like this? It, I'll meet up with you for a free consultation. Or I'll meet up with you and share this information with you. It's free. I'd love to do that for you. If she, shared, if she said that to me, I'd be like, oh, my God, this lady wants to help me. She wants to make sure that I have life insurance set up for my kids. That's so sweet. But sorry, her. and then responds, thank you so much. I really appreciate, appreciated your message and you reaching out to me, but I actually already have a New York life insurance agent. I wish you all the best and good luck. I'll let you know if anything ever changes. That's what I would say back to her if she came at me with that first really awesome message. Okay. Um, it's halfway through the month. Now we're heading into fully online classes. Utilize that online space that you guys have. We are so, so lucky to live in a world that we have social media to grow our businesses. So you do not have to be a social media, like full on growing my business social media. Because you can't be successful in doTERRA like that. You can't. You have to do individual messages. And you have to do in-person connections and stuff. But you can find a balance, you know? But can you imagine being in doTERRA maybe two generations ago when they didn't have social media and this current event was happening? We are so lucky. So look at everything that's good and what we have, what's working in your business, and run with it. Be the example and share education and share your heart. Just share your heart with us and Joyce. And you guys, you guys got this. We have a whole half a month left like tons of opportunity okay anybody else want to talk about anything okay i'll let you go you can always individually message me if you need me all righty okay oh good giselle i'm so happy i hope you guys have an amazing successful week and i love you all and stay stay safe and healthy okay bye